come into child's pose. Widen your knees, bring the big toes to touch. Reach the hands forward, drop your forehead. Deep breaths in and out. Feeling the sides of your ribs expand and contract. Two more breaths here. With an in-breath, lift the head and curl the hands over to the left. Melt the left shoulder down. Maybe you take the right hand to the left hand. One more. All your hands across to the other side. Get a nice stretch. Soften into the hips. Deep in the stretch in the left side body. more here. With an in-breath, come back to your center. Crawl the hands back towards your knees. Take the right arm to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Right shoulder to the ground. Stack your left shoulder on top of your right by pressing into your left hand. Options to lift that left arm to the sky and back behind, or you can curl it forward and over to the right. Breathe into sensation. Two more breaths. Exhale, slide left hand back in front of your face, come on up. With your next in breath, left arm to the sky. Exhale, left shoulder down, thread the needle. Same thing on this side, you can press into this right hand to press the right shoulder on top of the left. Raise it up to the sky and back behind. Or over. Be sure to breathe into your belly. One more big breath. Exhale. Right hand in front. Come on up. Let's move through some cat cow. So stack shoulders, stack hips over knees. Drop the belly down. Lift through the back of the head. Breathe in. Exhale. Round the upper spine. Tuck the chin. Force all breath out. In breath drop. Exhale. Round. Again, drop it down. Round. Last one. Round. 
any job, find your neutral. Stay on the knees and bring yourself up. And then we're gonna step the right foot out. Find the outer edge of that foot so the foot is nice and flat. And then we're gonna take both arms to the sky, take a breath in. On the exhale, drop the right hand along that leg and reach the left. Gaze up past the elbow towards the sky. Try not to dump too much in that hand on that leg. It's lightly resting. Get a big side stretch here. Last cycle. Come back up. Bring that right foot in. Stand up nice and tall. Or sit up nice and tall. And take the left foot out. Find the outer edge. Stacking through the right side, arms to the sky, breathe in. On the exhale, drop that left hand along that left leg, reach the right one over. Take the gaze past the elbow up towards the sky. Soften into sensation, use that breath. Big in breath, come on up. Bring both hands to the floor, step that left foot in, tick tock your hips. Nice work. Step the right foot forward and frame that knee with your shoulders. And then you might wanna scoot the left knee back just a little bit. So we're stacked from ankle to knee. We're gonna plant that left hand to the floor or a block or some books. And then we're going to twist towards the right knee. Lifting the right arm towards the sky, your heart space towards your knee. So try not to let the knee fall out. Squeeze it in. Gazing up past your thumb. One more. Exhale, frame that foot again. So you might need to scoot the knee in towards the center of your chest. Tuck the back foot and lift that knee off the floor. And then step the right one back. So we're in high plank pose, lower the knees down, press it back and find your child's pose. One more here. Bring it back to your table. Step the left foot forward between. Scoot the right foot or right knee back if you need to. And then we're gonna twist towards the left. So the right hand is gonna firmly plant underneath the shoulder. Twist to the left. Left arm to the sky. Squeeze that left knee in looking up towards your thumb. If I close my eyes, I can visualize the beach with this beautiful breeze and the sunshine. It's pretty amazing. Last two. The exhale, left hand comes down, squaring the chest over that front knee, sit it back, reach that foot back, and just press it back into child's pose. Breathing into your side waist, feel the rise and fall of the breath.
come back to your tabletop. And let's tuck the toes and lift the hips high to the sky, lowering the heels down, finding a downward dog shape. You may want to walk it out, bending one knee, another, settling into your first down dog. Once you're there, you'll melt the heels, press the chest back towards the kneecaps, finding about a fist distance or a little wider between the feet. Two cycles left. Get soft on your right toes, lift them to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it forward, plant that foot. Now we're gonna twist again, staying high on the back leg, keeping left hand underneath shoulder. Twist to the right again. And we can take that hand back behind us and twist a little deeper. One more. Exhale. Bring both hands inside the foot. Crawl the right foot over to the outer edge of your mat. Lower the back heel down. And then we're going to see if we can come down to our elbows or our forearms. If this isn't accessible using blocks or books, perfectly okay or staying right here on your hands and just breathing into the sensation. Soften where you can. Drop that left hip down. back to your hands, tuck the back toes, step that right foot back, lower your knees, press it back, child's pose. One more. Bring yourself forward, move into your downward dog shape by tucking the toes. Lifting the hips, dropping the heels, walking that dog out if that feels good for you. Settling into a downward dog shape. With the next in breath, left toes to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose and plant the foot between your and then we're gonna twist towards that left knee with the back leg nice and high. Lift that heel towards the sky. Get my hair out of my face here and then we'll twist. Squeezing the knee in so it's not falling out. Take that back hand back behind. One more breath. Exhale, untwist. Bring both hands to the instep. Crawl the left foot over to the left side of the mat. Come down to the back, knee and top of the foot. Stay here if this is full of sensation for you. If you can move in deeper, come down to the elbows. Dropping left hip towards the floor. or our right hip, sorry. Confusing my rights and lefts. Mm -hmm. 
soften where you can. One more. Come up to your hands if you're not already. Tuck the back toe. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Lower your knees. Press the hips back, lower the head. Bring the hands back towards the feet this time and slump the shoulders deeply. Rock from side to side on your forehead if that feels nice. One more breath. Sliding the hands forward. Shift your whole body forward. Lower everything down to the ground. Rest your forehead on your mat. Soften every part of your body and let go of any grip. Taking two breaths. Moving into some back bends here. We're gonna come onto the elbow and forearm. So we're gonna bring our elbows right underneath the shoulder. On either side, our rib cage, squeezing our rib cage. And then find your pubic bone. Press it into the floor. Reach the top of the feet towards the back of the mat. Fire up the legs, bringing the kneecaps off of the ground. Now, lift through the back of your head as if someone's got a string attached. You're pressing through the skin of your arm from the wrist to your elbow. You feel that back start to get warm. Breathe into the front. It's almost as if you are peeling your chest through your arms. One more. Let the elbows flare out. Rest your face. Take one more breath. Let's warm up the back a little more. Bring the hands forward and the feet are reaching back. Actually, we're going to take the right hand to our low back. This will be better. And now we're going to lift our left foot off the floor and our right foot off the floor and left arm. Hold and breathe. One more. Exhale, release, bring the hands back and rest. Next in breath, come on up. Right arm reaches forward, left hand to your back. Lift the left toes off the floor and the right arm. Last two. On your exhale, bring it down and rest. One more. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Elbows kind of want to flare out. Squeeze them in towards your rib cage and back towards your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. 
bring the feet a little closer together. Find the tops of the feet, lift the kneecaps, take a breath in. On your exhale, press into those hands, squeezing the ribs with your elbows. Lift through the back of your head and relax the shoulders down. Might try not to be like this. Bring those elbows down. Lift nice and long. Try to keep a long neck and a long spine. If that means you're down here, then you're down here. One more. Exhale, lower. Soften and rest. One more breath. Come on to the left elbow. And reach the left hand over to the right so it's lined up with the short side of your neck. Bring your right heel in towards your glute. Take your right hand to the top of the foot and squeeze the heel towards your sit bone. Elbows pointing up so you get that shoulder stretch as well. Last cycle. Exhale, release. Let's switch. Go to the other side. Right elbow underneath right shoulder. Take that left hand to the top of the foot. Peel that left shoulder back. Elbow up. Exhale and release. Great job. So now we're going to try to see if we can get both. So the heels come in as close to our glutes as we can get them. And then we'll see if we can reach back and grab our ankles. And then bring the knees in. So we might have to get our ankles by widening the knees out. If you did that, bring the knees back towards one another. So you squeeze the shoulders into place and then flex through your feet. Press the ankles into your hands to peel the front of your chest off the floor. And then find your belly. Feel the rise and fall of breath. One more. Soften, release, bring the hands down, rest your face. Feel a total release through the body. Notice the beating of your heart. One last cycle. Sliding feet towards one another. Hands underneath your shoulders. Press the body up and back. Child's pose. Really tight. Bringing the nose close to the knees. Bring the hands back to meet the feet. Slump your shoulders. Maybe rock from side to side if that feels good. Take one more cycle of breath. I 
We're going to come into rabbit pose from here. So hands can come forward. You're going to come way high onto the very back of your head. So you're really tucking your head under. And then you're going to come to all ten toes. So you're going to tuck all ten toes underneath. So the heels are lifted towards the sky. And then we take our hands back. So we drop the hips down towards the heels to reach the sides of the feet. Grab the feet and then lift back up. So you're sliding the shoulders apart. You feel a big stretch across the top. Breathe. One more. Exhale, drop the hips back down, release the hands. Coming up into hero, untuck all ten toes. Sit up nice and tall. Line up the spine, long neck. Reach up through the crown of your head. Soften into the support of the floor beneath you or earth. And then we're going to move into pigeon pose. First, we're going to stretch out the back of the legs before we do that. So we're just going to sit up and step the left foot forward. So we come to the heel. And then we're going to frame that leg with our hands. So we've got tented fingers. I like to call them cupcake hands. We're trying to keep icing off our palms. And then we're, we're going to slide the hips back and reach the crown forward. So if this is too much and you need blocks here, use them. Pressing the hips back to launch yourself forward. Breathing into sensation in the back of that leg. One more. Exhale, bring yourself forward. Now crawl the foot over to the right. Lowering yourself down. So the more parallel the shin with the front of the mat, the more intense the stretch. So if you need to back off, you'll bring that heel a little closer to the right hip. So find your level of sensation that's tolerable. And then take that right hip, try not to let it fall back. Bring it down so you square the shoulders with the short side of the mat. Framing your front leg, take a breath. Reach long through the back toe so you're on the top of the foot and the kneecap is down. Exhale and bring yourself forward. So you might be able to get the forehead on the ground. You might be up on elbows. You might be resting your head on a pillow or a bolster or blocks. Breathing into sensation. Feeling the rise and fall of breath happen in your body. Softening any grip you're holding. When we try to open up spaces, we tend to grip in others. So scan through. Notice if your fingers are gripping, if your jaw is tight, if your shoulders are gripping. Soften. Let the weight of your body surrender to gravity. Observe any thoughts that are running through your mind. Bring yourself back here to the sound of your breath, to the sounds of the room in the space that you're in.
One more time, in and out. Lifting through your back of your head, come on up. And let's see if we can take this into a little twist. You may or may not be able to get there, so don't beat yourself up if it's too intense. See if you can take your left elbow and find the sole of your left foot, place the elbow there, press the palms together, and take the gaze toward your back foot. One more breath. Undo your twist, but stay here and bend your back heel in. See if you can get the top of that foot with your hand so you can get the right elbow towards the ceiling. Breathe into that. If I have mermaids, you can always bring the foot inside the elbow, clasp your hands, hold here. If mermaid's not your thing, still stay right here. You can always bring the foot to the elbow crease, reaching your arm down your leg. When you're ready to come out, you'll release that foot back behind. Come off of that left hip and walk your dog out. You might feel like you're a 150 year old dog and that's quite all right. Take as much time as you need to work it and walk it out. Maybe settling in for a couple breaths in your down dog. coming down to both knees. Come on to all fours and step the left or right foot forward and then find the heel. You're framing that leg. Cupcake hands. On the exhale, drop the hips back, launching your crown forward. Soften where you can. Breathing into sensation. Two more. When you're ready, you'll shift the back forward. Crawl that right foot over to the left side of your mat, come onto that hip, and then again, finding your spot of sensation, whether that heel is closer to the left hip or the shin is more parallel with the short side. Square the shoulders, drop that left hip down, take a breath, exhale, find your spot. the body. Where are you gripping? Where can you let go and soften?
feel your fingers relax your shoulders. Let your jaw unhinge. Feel your body breathe. The ribs expanding, the body dropping on the exhale. your mind gone. Bring it back. Observe. Go a little more. Slide your hands back, press yourself up. And we're going to take it into that twist, taking that right elbow to the in step of the foot long through that back leg look back towards that back heel stack through the shoulders cycles of breath. On your exhale and twist, bring that back heel in. Go for the foot, top of the foot with the hand, elbow up. Squeezing the glute or heel close to the glute. Finding that elbow crease if it's available. spot when you're ready to come out reach that leg back slowly bring the right one back to meet the left walk your dog out bend one knee and bending the other generously Settle yourself into a downward dog shape, lowering the heels down. Let's get a twist in before we come down to our mat. Walking the hands one step in. Take the right hand to the left ankle. 
you may want to step the feet in a little bit more if you can't reach the ankle and then twist looking under left shoulder towards the ceiling One more here. Exhale back to that shortened dog. Take it to the other side. One more breath. Exhale back to that shortened dog, lower the knees down. Sit yourself back, stack the shoulders, long spine. Notice how energized the body feels. Heart opener from here, hands come back, pointing towards the heels. Peel the front of the body up, off of the feet if you can. Open your heart space. One last breath into the front. Lower yourself down, bring yourself back up. Sit yourself over to one side, bringing the feet in front of you. Scoot. The heels a little closer. Nice work. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to let the right leg get long and cross the left one over. And then we're going to bend that right knee. Bring it in. So maybe we bring that ankle to the thigh. Scoot that right heel in as close as you can get. So we're almost back to that pigeon pose we did laying down. Now you're gonna press the chest through the arm. So you're pressing your chest towards your ankle. Breathe into sensation. One more. Exhale, let that right leg go long and uncross, shake your legs out. Same thing, other side of the body. Crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, scoot it in. As close as you can get that heel to your sit bone, press through the hands. breath here. Exhale, left leg gets long, uncross, shake them out. Great work. So let's keep our right leg nice and long. Bring the left one in. And from here, we're going to frame our right leg. So take that left hand and bring it to the right inner thigh. So make sure that you have a hand's distance between the left foot and your right thigh. And then reach out and take that left hand behind. So the shoulder is in front of the left knee. Bring that left hand behind you. Take the right one back to meet it. Find the clasp of the hands. Get nice and long through the right leg, active leg. Toes curling back towards the shin. Launch yourself forward. Breathe. 
reaching the crown towards your toenail. Big in breath, come up. Still holding on to that foot. Rock from side to side. Nice work. Set it back down. Release. Now we're going to twist. Right arm's going to wrap around. Left arm windmills. Acting like a kickstand. Flex those toes up. Look back behind you. Every exhale, deepen your twist. One more. Uncross. Left leg gets nice and long. Right foot comes in. Hands distance between inner thigh and right sole of the foot. Right arm comes around the leg. Give yourself a little pat on the butt. Take the left hand back. Find the clasp of the hand. Slide that clasp down towards your sit bones as you launch yourself forward. With your in breath, lift through the back of your head, come on up, holding on to that leg. Set it back down. Release. Left arm wraps around that right knee. Right hand acts as a kickstand. Lining up through your shoulders. Flex those left toes towards the ceiling. Breathe into your twist. On your exhale, come on out. Great job. Find those heels, bring them in. Slide the hands back and roll yourself down. Bring your knees into your chest. Hands on the shins, let's rock from side to side. Let's find one little happy baby here. Drop the knees out to the sides and then reach inside the feet for the outer edges. And then line up the kneecaps and shin, soles of the feet, almost as if you're standing on the ceiling. So you can create a flat back from the back of your head to your tail. Squeezing the shoulder blades onto, into their places. Breathe into your low belly. Imagine your kneecaps are gonna touch the floor. One more. Exhale and release. Bring your knees in and rock from side to side. And I'm going to scoot a little further down my mat here. Inch warming myself here. All right. I want to move into Halasana Plow Pose. So we're going to place the hands down by our sides. Bring the knees kind of into the chest and kick the feet overhead. Find the toes, energize the legs, press the back of the knee space up towards the ceiling. Breathe into your belly. Come on to your shoulders a little more if you can.
and then we're going to bring our hands to our low ribs squeezing the elbows towards one another find those low rib space and then both legs to the sky Point and flex the feet. Since our hips are nice and open from all that work we did, maybe we can drop the knees out and bring the soles of the feet together. Let's straighten the legs again. Lower one leg down to the earth. Reach long through the opposite leg. Switch. Come back. And then lower both feet. Let your hands come down to meet the floor. Revisiting plow. One more breath. Slowly lowering yourself one vertebrae at a time. Nice work. Let the feet find the mat. Knees can be bent up towards the ceiling. Just rock. And then we're going to move into Matsyasana fish pose here to counter counteract what we just did. So options are to take the hands in a diamond shape underneath. Let the feet get nice and long. Squeeze the elbows towards one another and come onto the back of your head. Staying right here and breathing. If you can go for more, the hands come out from underneath you. If you still stay on the back of your head, lift your feet, bring the palms together, pointing towards your toes. your entire body connect with the floor. Press into the back of your head, spread wide across your shoulders. Soften everything. Unhinge your jaw. Let breath escape through your lips. Soften through your arm bones and fingers. Notice the weight of your body, your hips. Settle in that space. Soften the belly and let it fall towards your spine. Legs get heavy and your kneecaps soften. Releasing any pent up energy from the legs out your feet. Deep breath. Soften every part from your head to your toes. Surrender. 